All right, welcome to the latest episode of the Coleman Power Organic Fitness Podcast. I'm delighted. I'm delighted, firstly, that you're listening. And we're going straight into this is Q&As from questions I pulled from social media. So whether you're training with me or you're sending me messages directly or asking them in the Q&As that are coming out weekly, it's something that I use on a regular basis. So if you want a question, you want a shout out with your name, if that's what you want. Everyone loves a bit of a shout out every now and again. This is what happens. So there's four main topics we're going to be discussing in this week's show. So it is, can we overeat on protein? That is so very important. Great question coming in. Second one is, can you overeat on healthy fats? Protein and healthy fats, essential for the body. Then we're going naturally teeth whitening that I use myself. Showing you guys those for those of you on youtube there will be props involved in this one but for those of you listening no problem at all you can also check it out at a later stage or just listen away that the way that you are continually doing it right now and the final one is plateauing and a weight loss phase like those are the four main topics and before i get in any further i'm just going to tell you the story You're looking for new and natural stuff it's the stuff i have every day these both come from these are not necessarily supplements these are whole foods hemp seeds they're complete protein, they're healthy fats, literally what the body can run off. And if you're going plant-based or if you don't have a lot of meat in your diet, I recommend these. New natural cacao powder, something that contains magnesium. Quite excited about those, why? Because of a discount code, that's unreal for me, for any long-time listeners. I'm playing it cool, right? <laughs> 15% discounts, my name, Coleman Power Organic Fitness. Those are the things I recommend. Those are things that I want people to add into their diet. Why? Because they come from whole foods contain fiber, the hemp seeds, that keep you full up for longer and aid in gut health. All things I am singing about, literally singing because of, why? Because 90% of your serotonin is produced in your gut. So also when the new CPOF t-shirts are unreal and those will uh, inevitably be available. Anybody going to the retreat? I feel like I have so much to tell you, so much to tell you. We already have one retreat down in West Cork and Skull. It went so well, it went so well that we're going to have another one. The sooner the better in summer so the sea swims there's grounding there's exercise and training involved in it there's a mindful coach there's cooking single green organic foods that you couldn't get any better down in location right close to the sea and it's lovely the sunrise the sunset up early bed early why because that's a routine that is for optimal health and i'm all for that so we get straight into i suppose this week's podcast questions before we go any further i'm going to put on a little bit of a timer because i don't like to go in over the 30 minutes so let's clock that so can you overeat on protein before we go any further what is protein protein is something that contains nine kilocalories it's essential for the body nine kilocalories sorry probably you can four kilocalories as opposed to healthy fats contain nine kilocalories and per gram and carbohydrates are also four kilocalories per gram That's worth noting if you are looking to reduce down your body fat. Why? Because it comes down to a numbers game when you are looking to reduce down your weight. Next point is protein is essential. You have to eat it. There are so many different advantages to protein. I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, the foods that I recommend, okay? I'm not a vegan or vegetarian. I'm a whole foods approach. Why? Because it'd be un... Un... What? It'd be irresponsible of me to tell people to take eat take out meat completely out of diet. I'm not anti meat. I'm pro organic vegetables. Why? Because not enough people are eating vegetables and there's fiber. Meat doesn't contain fiber, but it also is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm looking for in your diet protein. You're not eating enough protein. When you don't eat enough protein, the fact is that you're not satiated. If you're lacking in protein, your skin can't repair. And your muscles won't be repaired from the training. Both two things I look at and look into with people's health because skin is also one of the pillars of health. It's one of the first things people look at. I have a natural glow. It's a fact because I eat a lot of high protein foods and typically the foods that I recommend firstly because people aren't eating them. Something The best foods to eat are the ones they're not eating. That is the clearest statement I'm ever going to ever tell you and put it into practice. Tofu and tempeh. Bish, bash, bash you're on a breadwinner. They're a complete protein. They contain all nine of the essential amino acids. You add them into your diet. You can make from the organic fitness eco cookbook that's on my website. I feel like I've loads of stuff at the minute. And it's on my website and orders loads of those recipes free separately on any of my social media platforms. 
Instagram is probably not a bad one. TikTok as well. Coleman Power Organic Fitness. Check those out. They're free. Like all you need to do is go watch them, have the ingredients. And that's what happens to anybody I train on the Organic Fitness Program. Just finished a six-week batch with people. And on top of that, they get a meal plan with foods that they get to pick and choose. It's not that you have to eat this, you have to eat that. There are so many different options on it. It's tailored to your height, it's tailored to your weight. And as a result of that, you pick and choose the ones where if you want to have more plant-based, you want to have meat sources, you want to have eggs, you want to have more greens. Most people don't have meat, more greens, everybody. And on top of that, it's something that I recommend to people, plant-based sources of protein. Why for the added fiber? So that tofu and tempeh are complete proteins contain all nine essential amino acids. They're uh, similar to meat in that fact, but they don't contain as much protein. But then you have to add in other protein sources. Whew. For those of you on YouTube, that was a good sound effect that I did. It is the hemp seeds that coming in out of nowhere because that contains protein and it contains healthy fats. Another thing that people are not consuming enough of, healthy fats. So that is an example of adding in tempeh. Tempeh is higher protein than tofu. So 100 grams of tempeh contains about 18, if not 19. 100 grams of chicken contain roughly between 20 grams of protein, could be up to 23. And that again, depends on the likes of the cut or where the meat is sourced. And the fact of that is the tempeh is higher than to tofu in the protein. But that's to say that temp tofu, you shouldn't eat it. And for those people that are worried about the, the front door just blew open, those of you who heard that, <laughs> scary. The fact that there is estrogen uh, found in soya products. But when I train people, what I also recommend is fiber. Bish, bash, bash. What's the advantage of fiber? Pulling out toxins out of the body. It's the whole food approach. And when I recommend something, I don't go, oh, that's the only thing you should eat. You should only eat tofu. You only should eat tempeh. Or you should only add in spinach. Because you can actually overeat in spinach because it contains too much oxalates, which is a negative effect on the body. Following that, it's important to not eat just tofu and tempeh. It's the balanced approach of other food sources throughout your day, whether lentils could also be incorporated in plant-based or other meat sources or meat uh, or produce such a complete protein produce as eggs, fish, chicken, beef, all recommended organic, white, less chemicals, less antibiotics, bish, bash, bash. But even right, winding it back to specifically that question, can we overeat on protein? The thing is, most people don't overeat on the protein. In fact, they're under eating, you're under eating foods. And as a result of that, you inevitably then binge eat typically late in the day. Protein is that satiating effect and it regulates hormones in your body. It's good for your skin health. And when I get people to realize and we call it get people at the start of an organic fitness program to have a look at their foods, we look at a list of what they've previously eaten in the past, let's say a couple of days or even the day before, and inevitably, more often than not, you're under eating on your protein. Recommended for training is 1.5 to 2 grams of protein per day, per day, not just one day. When I would train people, they say, oh, she's coming. Am I done? Am I done? I finished. That's it. I'm done. No, you're not. You do that every single day. You eat foods every single day. Eat complete proteins on a regular basis. Why? Because that's exactly what the body needs to function at optimal levels. Most people are not eating enough protein. You can overeat it, overeat protein foods, and that would inevitably put you in a calorie surplus, which would help, which would either get you to help you to put on weight or put on weight unnecessarily. But the thing is, we typically don't. But I have to look at that. Each and every one is different. That's important to note as well. So next question, flying on to can we overeat? on healthy fats. Healthy fats, as we touched on, contain nine kilocalories per gram. They're higher than proteins in calories. They're higher than carbohydrates in calories, but you have to consume them. Your body actually doesn't need carbohydrates. That's something I haven't really mentioned before on this podcast. Why? Because your body runs uh, can run off healthy fats, change and convert it into an energy source called ketones. And then protein is essential also for the building blocks of muscles and cells to be repaired on a daily basis so that's something that i do recommend but i don't recommend people to go into ketosis unless they're extremely active because it is a difficult diet to be sustainable with that means reducing down the amount of vegetables that you eat that's one thing i'm not going to recommend to you i'm certainly not telling you to take out carbohydrates completely initially if that is because carbohydrates are so easily found. As we touched on, they're found in processed foods in previous episodes. We are touched in on vegetables and fruits. Two things that are massively high in antioxidants, reduce stress on your body, increasing your energy levels. That's, you just cannot 
decide to take out vegetables out of your diet without understanding there is a whole food approach that I have and I'm so passionate about and getting a local, getting a fresh, getting organic to maximize the benefits for you, for you and everybody listens to this podcast or even listen to any of the social media content I put out on a regular basis. And understanding foods is so important. Understand it. Understand you need healthy fats. And omega-3 healthy fats are so important in your diet. They're omega-3 and omega-6 and omega-9. The body can make certain amounts of omega-9 healthy fats, but omega-3 and omega-6 we must consume from our diet. What are the foods that are containing, that do contain omega-3 healthy fats? Super beneficial for low to medium cooking is the one I recommend. Extra virgin olive oil. Yes, contains antioxidants as well. Bash, bash, bash. I'm always going to come back to those things, but antioxidants are found in specific amounts in the extra virgin olive oil that can improve again your skin health but also cooking oils that i recommend are extra virgin olive oil uh, extra virgin coconut oil because there's a higher smoke point and that brings me on to I suppose what's the fact that can or should you what's the best one what's the best coconut oil there's no such thing as the best anything it depends on what you're comparing it to there's benefits to extra virgin olive oil because the omega-3 healthy fats. There's benefits to the coconut oil because a higher smoke point, but this doesn't contain a, a decent a, a ratio of omega-3 to omega-6. That's worth noting because every food is different. Okay, It's like comparing oranges and apples, both fruits, but they're different. And then can you overeat them? Of course you can. And it's definitely not something I want people to be extremely worried about. Understanding foods and getting the right number, because when, as we're talking about, everybody's number of calories that we need to consume on a daily basis is different. So you have to look into your own one specifically. Get someone to help you, whether it's, it doesn't have to be me. It can be a nutritionist. It can be someone that you trust. You can use those calculators online. But it's just like your times tables. Once you understand what calories or foods you need to consume on a daily basis to maintain your weight, then you can either go, yeah, I'd like to build some muscle. Bish, bash, bash, the bicep actually having to come into shot there. <laughs> or if you want to reduce down your body fat it comes down to a calorie deficit calorie surplus is over your maintenance calorie surplus is under your maintenance two opposite ends of the spectrum and you pick either the upper end or the bottom end depending on your fitness goal you want to build muscle need to be in calorie surplus and still eating complete proteins healthy fats and complex carbohydrates and fruits and vegetables and on top of that, then if you're calorie deficit, it's the same foods that you eat, you just eat slightly less of them. And definitely not take, recommending you to take out healthy fats out of your diet. Okay, it is for people who don't understand the foods, whether you're a personal trainer that previously had mentioned or on social media, that's why you need to make sure you're following people or get information from people you like, you trust, mostly you trust, and that you can, they're reputable and that they can help you achieve your fitness goal. Being happier and being healthier is what I want people to do. Okay, you, if you were to take out, let's say, fats out of your diet, you most certainly would lose body fat. Okay, why? Be, or carbohydrates for that matter. Why? Because you're taking out a macronutrient, one of the three main macronutrients the body runs off proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. And I suppose for those who went on that low fat diet previously, and it was very, it was very common, even when I was growing up, I suppose, being 30, heading for 31. What is it? 30 to new 20 or something along those lines. But the fact is that they wanted to demonize fats because it was higher in calories calories are not your enemy okay processed foods are and sugar excess amount of sugars is something that can cause negative effects and I, I, that's what i want people to take out with their diet foods from single ingredients especially healthy fats whether it be nuts or seeds super beneficial omega-3 seeds are uh, flax seeds hemp seeds chia seeds walnuts are really good as well why i'm actually leaning towards the hemp seeds is because they are uh, contain healthy fats and they contain protein. You're taking two boxes right there in the one. I love to maximize the benefits of the things that I do on a regular basis. That is an absolute breadwinner on your either overnight oat in and on your overnight oats in nut bars in on sink, sprinkled on salads and on your dinner. That's why I love those because there's no cooking involved. It's in this, this packet. You pour it out, bish bash bash. You're gaining the advantage of that. That's just simple. For you to know to add into your diet on a regular basis Whew. winning on a wednesday actually just pocket something on a thursday but anyway whenever you listen to it, it could be midweek could be early morning late evening so next question we're going to is natural teeth whitening that i recommend okay i am for optimal health and as a result of that teeth will come into that category so straight off the bat what are the things that i do for oral health I brush, I'm going to say to, straight away say it. I actually had a guest on last week, if you listened to it, um, about 
overall health and we touched on uh, oral health and oil pulling. Oil pulling is something that I have done, I have a do-do on a regular basis for naturally whitening my teeth. Oil pulling can be carried out three consecutive days using either coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. And I also use some turmeric in ground form, put it on a spoon, pop it into your mouth and swishing it around for 20 minutes. Yes, bring it into your nose and out to your mouth. It's also gonna benefit, be beneficial towards your expanding out your lungs because we typically don't use our nose enough. That's definitely for a separate podcast we will be doing on breath and might actually get an expert on if I can at all possible. So touching on that oil pulling. So oil pulling can naturally you pull stains off the likes of your teeth. So beneficial towards you because they're using those items because they're antibacterial. Things that are antibacterial and the final item is those are three things that I use are the cloves. Cloves are, again, not just for your Christmas ham. They can be poured, put into tea and poured hot water in, mix it around, sitting in a jar, glass jar typically or something that's not plastic because you don't want toxins, excessive amount of toxins coming into your diet anyway. So those three items are something that I use. The coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil is another one. On top of that, you're using half a teaspoon, a couple of grams in your mouth, swishing it around, left, right, left, right. And this is so important. Don't spit it down the sink. Don't spit it down the toilet. I'm telling you, most in quote of the day is learn from other people's mistakes. It blocks the sink, it blocks the toilet. It's not what you want. Put it in the compost bin, put it outside because you don't want to block your sink. And then saying, oh, well, Coleman told me to start doing the oil pulling. But no, I, I mean, I did, but I, I'm after also mentioning, don't spit it down into your sink. Those are, some th- those are things that most certainly after three days of consistently doing that back to back 20 minutes, okay, it might seem like a long time straight off the bat, but you'll get better at it as a result because you can't get better at something you do not practice. Those th- and I don't want you swallowing it either. It's an old, we'll call it remedy for that I've used, incorporated into my healthy lifestyle. And I suppose there's different spectrums of health in the sense of healthy foods, oral health, skin health, then there's the likes of being healthy and doing stretches, improving your flexibility. Grounding is another thing that I recommend that people on a regular basis. Sea swims, cold exposure, why for that thermogenic effect, which actually protein foods also have. And I just touch on that because we previously were touching on the benefits of protein. Thermogenic effect is the fact that protein foods are recommended by myself and anyone else, I suppose, in the health industry. The fact that it burns calories as it's been digested. Just to recap those foods again, to- tofu, tempeh, complete proteins, hemp seeds in there for the mix, chicken, fish, turkey, or eggs, any of those that you eat, whatever your dietary requirement is, they burn calories as the body is digested. And that's one of the main reasons that, another one of the main reasons why I recommend people to consume more protein in their diet than any other the two macronutrients. So, bish, bash, bash, that is something that, also happens, I suppose, the thermogenic effect when your body is trying to heat itself up after the cold water exposure, whether it be from the sea, which I also recommend by because the magnesium found in those uh, sea plants, such as seaweed, which can also be eaten, or when you're in the ocean, it is absorbed through the skin and it really leading to improve sleep. Another one of the things I really look into because it's one of the pillars of health. You're improving your sleep. You inevitably then will become a healthier version of yourself. These are things that you can do. And if you're not able or capable to get to the sea, we're in midsummer now at this moment in time, cold water exposure from showers. And when you come out of the shower, and I recommend minimum three minutes in the shower or in the sea, minimum. The fact is to maximize the benefits of your activity. It then what happens is your body is shivering. Okay, your body is shivering and that is using up energy. Your body, when it is trying to heat itself up, is a way of you ben- maximizing the benefits of that activity. That's what I recommend for the three minutes on top of any of the other activities, such as training, such as sun exposure, just outdoor activities, whether it be growing, whether it be going to a country market, all things that I'm highly recommending. And then as we're touching on that country market, just a couple of different vegetables that are in season for yourself to consume, to add into your diet. Coming in is kale, 
bish bash bash. Where do you get it? Rainbow chat. Where do you get it? The likes of red currents. I'm telling you, they're at country markets, but you have to go to them. You cannot gain advantage of something that you don't eat. I'm telling you, those foods are in season. Cucumbers are coming. Tomatoes are even. Let's be having a taste in our guy tomorrow. That's the game changer. Of all the different fruits and vegetables, fruits are pretty good to taste. The tomato. I'm going to say I did not like tomatoes previously, but I'm certain that if you haven't tried an organic tomato, I would convert you. I'm, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. If you haven't tried it, if you haven't grown them yourself, if you know anybody, get your hands on them. And if you don't know anybody, contact me and or come to the retreat that is on the bank holiday August weekend. That was a way of throwing that in. But nonetheless, if you want to go to that retreat, there are only a number of places and limited places available just due to events. And the fact that if you come, there will be a guy to my house. Grown by myself, you couldn't beat it. <laughs> That's, I'll go different varieties such as iris. It's a beefy old heritage tomato. And the advantage of and another advantage of that type of uh, tomato is for those of you to chop tomatoes and put them into sandwiches, they don't lose their guts. That's cool and that's unreal. And that seed was given way, way back to me about five years ago when I started growing myself. It is a seed gives me with Klaus Leitenberg. For any of you who don't know him, it's a, he's an organic guru. I highly recommend him. He taught me everything I know. He was my first of my lecturer in college and he was my mentor for growing. And he's a good friend of mine and I know him a long time now. And he's cool. He's a cool man based up in Leitrim at this moment in time. So check out his Instagram. I put that in the, I will put that in the show notes so you can quickly link over to him and check him out. So that is and us going on to our last and final question. Tips for people in a weight loss plateau. So what ends up happening is people have gone, went through a, a weight loss phase and literally their weight has plateaued. Whether they're using weighing scales or not, that is something I don't recommend to people straight off the bat because the weight can fluctuate on a daily basis. Some people that bring to your organic fitness program, they lose very little weight on a weighing scales, but their body composition changes. They're using added weights where they never re- and with uh, the advantage on top of that is that it improves your insulin sensitivity. That just means it improves the body's ability to use carbohydrates. Yes, yes, oh yay. That's what I want you to do. To remember that the weighing scales is not the best indication of your overall health. I recommend photographs. I recommend using how your clothes fit you, your general mood and your energy levels. All things, throw that weighing scales because that can upset you. It upset me and I'm a man. The fact is I don't own weighing scales right now. And I previously did. And I used to base my whole progress off it. And any people that I come into contact with and they're saying, Coleman, I didn't go down on the scales. Well, catch, and I know people that actually have cut the weighing scales after I said this before. To them. And they're throwing it in the bin or throwing it out the window. You don't have to throw it out the window, throw it out the bin. Just stop using it to gauge your progress. Okay, That is what I want you to remember because you can't always lose weight each and every week. And health is not just about a number on a scale. It's more so about your overall mood. It's your overall health. Have you improved on your diet? Because diet is key. And that's why I'm focusing on that just in initially, because you cannot out-train that bad diet. You need to improve the amount of nutrient-dense foods that you have on a, base, a regular basis. And those kale and that rainbow chard and those red currants and tomatoes, all things I'm recommending to you to get your hands on now in this uh, when you're listening to this episode, midsummer, and French beans are another one that are coming into season. And the added advantage of that is they're a complete protein and they contain fiber. That is a winner when you're noting foods to add into your diet. Protein foods with fiber. Those are things I look into people, especially to improve their overall health. Why? Because protein essential. Fiber also essential. Two things people are not eating enough of. And we'll take out the third finger, magnesium. Magnesium is found in French beans. So is protein and it being a protein all things that reduce cravings, that helps you lose weight. And I suppose we're going in on to further expanding how to change it up your diet, change up sorry, your training so you never really can break through that plateau. I use finishers at the end of my training and the people that are training the organic fitness program for that main reason. It is the difference of in changing the stimulus. When you change the stimulus, you inevitably then will get the body to be under more stress when the body's under more stress it has to use up more of the fuel or the stored body fat that we currently have so that's what i do and I typically do my weights first on the organic fitness program and you do a finisher at the end it's roughly about 20 seconds on 10 second rest is one opportunity for if you were previously doing four minutes get up to five you get up to six and if depending on if you're intermediate beginner intermediate or advanced you can go up to 10 minutes and or after your training 
to do ex uh, we call it cardio. Cardio can be on a bike, cardio can also be for a run, and doing your finishers outside is something that also can be beneficial. Why? Because it increase your heart rate. Increasing your heart rate gets you to burn more calories, and literally you finishing off your glycogen stores, tapping into your body fat, bish, bash, bash. There's where we're getting the difference, and it's about breaking through that plateau, increasing your training, increasing your weights, changing up slightly something, because you can't keep doing the same training at the same tempo, at the same pace, with the same finisher, and expecting a different result. Your body adapts to the stresses it's currently under, and that's why you need to change up your training. I change up my training every six eight weeks whether it be more high intensity whether it be different weights different exercises inclusive of outdoor activities at the weekend which i recommend right now and these swims that we touched on here in this episode it's all about just doing a little bit more to make sure you're continuing your progress and remember you can't always lose weight and to maybe change up your fitness goal that once you've lost a certain amount of weight now it's time to build a little bit of muscle that is another way to, I suppose, get yourself a new fitness goal, which I also recommend with these goal boards, because that also leads to happiness, and happiness is something that leads to positivity. I'm a firm believer in all those things. Anything that I talk about here, I'm talking for optimal health. And those are the four questions that we've touched on in this week's episode. And the recap of them is, I suppose, just to touch on, you can overeat on protein, but that's typically what most people uh, are not eating enough of. It's processed foods are your problem. Protein contains four kilocalories, exact same as carbohydrates healthy fats contain nine kilocalories can you overeat on healthy fats you can but you need healthy fats in your diet and it's the processed foods that contain the trans fats that i don't recommend as opposed to the healthy fats essential omega-3 and omega-6 that are found in oily fish that are found in omega-3 filled hemp seeds omega-3 walnuts and hemp seeds flax seeds but mentioned those already and chia seeds then you have the teeth whitening, the pull, oil pulling. Let's do a separate video on this on TikTok. You're not following me there. Call my park and fitness. Oil pulling, turmeric, antibacterial, cloves, clove tea, all things. Whether you're using the root and or the powder, both super beneficial towards, you want to get more fiber in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chopping those up, putting in a stir fry, whether you're using it for oil pulling or not. And then brushing your teeth, spitting it out, washing your mouth out with water, spitting it out, side, outside stress that enough then brushing your teeth directly after because you don't want that yellow sitting on your teeth for too long ah, lads. and then we'll go to the next one we went down to uh breaking through a plateau change up the stimulus to put your body under a little more stress and every so that you can become a healthier version of yourself and throw that wing scale out the window because it's called the naughty step for a reason okay all right lads this was wrapping up just to touch on a point, there's a retreat coming up if you're really interested in it. It's going to be based down West Cork in Skull. Skull, it's unbelievable. Just so close to the sea. Sea swims, food, yoga, training, nutrition, mindful coach there as well. There's, there's so many different things. There's kayaking. There's hanging around with cool, like-minded people. Can't recommend that enough to you. If you want in, make sure you message me as soon as you listen to this podcast. Can't recommend it enough. It's it's not just healthy. It's fun. That's a, just, just going to tell you it's straight up fun. And... Other than that, if you're looking to join the Organic Fitness Program, send me a message directly. And if you are listening to this podcast on iTunes, if you give me a review, I would highly, I would just literally, virtual high five. And that's what I'm going to do right now because I love positivity. Put your hand up in the air. Put up your left hand. You ready? We're going for a virtual high five. Five, four, three, two, one. Which? That's a natural mood improvement that just happened right there. If you put your hand up. Did you put your hand up? Do you nod in your head? Good job. All right. That's this week's episode of the Organic a Coleman Power Organic Fitness Podcast. I hope you enjoyed. hope you enjoyed. And that's my laptop making a noise. <laughs> As I always in these podcasts, stay tuned, stay classy, and keep it organic.